Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And um, so today I'm showing you some new makeup that I sort of added and some replacements. And I think I'll start off by adding some of the ColourPop. This is one of the um, lipsticks from the uh, three pack that you can get from the Hello Kitty. It was still available last time I looked. So, uh, there we go there. And then as far as lip gloss, I got this one, the ColourPop um, Ultra Glossy Lip. And I'm going to go ahead and add some of this in as well. So, as far as lipstick, the Hello Kitty and the lip gloss, the Ultra Glowy ultra glossy lip. So these are what I have on there. And then as far as what I went ahead and put on, ah, this is what happens when I'm running late. Okay, so Tinted Moisturizer by Wet n Wild and this one's in light. And so that's what I have on for the base today. I went ahead and used a couple of new products uh, for the cheeks and this is the e.l.f. and this their luminoso uh, blush and the um, putty blush so this one is actually Bermuda and that's what I have on it's kind of weird it's kind of done that maybe that was my brush that did that there we go that's the way that it looks really pretty, really luminous. And then I went ahead and added in another blush that is newer and this is the uh, Kissed by the Light and this is by Essence. Uh, this is one of their new blushes. It's actually blush, uh, bronzer, and highlighter and you just take your brush back and forth and then put it on and so, um, yeah, it's another really pretty one. And officially probably a bronzer and mix between a blush and a bronzer. And my birthday did come and go. And so I picked up this. It's from Sephora. It's the birthday, uh, the birthday uh, treat that you can get. And so I actually hadn't tried any of the Laura Mercier. Um, and this is their translucent powder. I've never tried it before. I also got uh, one of their, yeah, their eye sticks. And this one's in strapless. And so this one I went ahead and used as an eyeliner. Um, so, uh, yeah. For me, this was a great birthday um, treat because, like I said, I haven't tried much Laura Mercier, and so I got to go ahead and try some. So uh, that's what the color looks like, and it says on the box that it's um, specifically for Sephora, so I don't think you can get this color other places. Um, as far as what else I did, I went ahead and picked up another one of the L'Oreal Lumi bronzes, and so I've had this one, which is the light one, which turns out to be a sparkly uh, gold, and then um, I liked that one, but I didn't think it would work that well going into winter, and so I went on to Amazon and grabbed one of the mediums, so I have the light and the medium here. And so, yeah, I like both formulas. I have the medium on today, and I just did a retouch on it, so hopefully you'll be able to see it. And um, so, let's see, the new Lumi, and uh, the Luminous Blush, and also the Essence is um, their bronzer. Uh, the Laura Mercier, so these are all new, and um, yeah, I'm really liking them. They they all worked really well. There wasn't anything that made me go, ah! 
And so I did go ahead and put some of the um, Thick It Stick It by NYX on there as well. And as far as the, uh, yeah, the uh, mascara, I got a new one of the Sky High. I'd run out of my old one and it just makes my lashes so nice and long that I thought, yeah, we need some more of that. So, and yes, I have had the makeup on most of the day and I just sort of retouched it to go ahead and do this video. So, like I said, everything has been working really well. I, you know, I haven't had any problems with it. And so as far as I look, but I kind of didn't explain it, did I? So I went ahead and used the Bright Palette by Beauty Bay. And then I went ahead and used this color all over the lid. And um, yeah, that's really all that I did other than uh, go ahead and use the strapless color um, from the uh, shadow stick and went ahead and used that under the eye and then right above the eye as an eyeliner. Oh, and other interesting different news. My family got really busy and so I didn't have time to make a hair appointment, let alone keep a hair appointment. So I uh, watched a couple of YouTube videos and I did the wolf cut and so I gave myself a haircut and I know that that's something that when we, when we were kids we were told no never do that never do that it's never a good idea well I did I gave myself some bangs like you can see here uh, what you do is you basically take all your hair up onto um, a ponytail right on the top of your head and then you do your first cut and then you do a second ponytail that's your sides right on the top of your head and you go ahead and do your snips and then you go ahead and do your bangs and you do a ponytail and then you go ahead and do your bangs so um, that's what I did I like it um, and I like it because it actually did layers on the sides and that was starting to get really bulky and kind of like that and um, it also it kept my length but it gave me layers down here so um, I still have well actually I have more layers better layers and some bangs which I actually really like and so um, yeah that's what I did. I did my own haircut for the first time and um, I tried to even that out and do you know what I could with it and yeah I think I'll probably go over to get my hair cut now that things have calmed down and ask them you know how straight I, how my layers how I did ask them to grade me on it so um, yeah it may not be the most you know I may get some real criticism but you know and uh, it's my first time trying and I have a lot of really thick hair so um, <clears throat> that's the video for today I hope you've enjoyed it and uh, let's see thank you and have a great day okay